You're here. I live here. I went to bed at one and you still weren't home. Oh, I came home around then. I must have just missed you. Trivia went late. And how was trivia? Amazing. I came up with this obscure fact about Josephine Baker, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself. You are such a smooth liar. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised all that. Undercover training. I'm not lying. I saw Tim drop you off. <sighs> My God, I am so over coming up with cover stories. Okay, why the big secret? You're both single. I mean, we're just keeping it under wraps until we figure things out. Well, if you ever need me to uh, clear out for the night, you know. Play my music real loud, just let me know. We're not sleeping together. Why not? We're taking it slow. We want to do this right. So you're not sure how you feel? No, I know exactly how I feel. I mean, this is the most amazing relationship I've been in since ever. Okay, and you're waiting why again? Morning. Morning. Um, tonight is the night. Oh. Really? Yes, really. My place or yours? Jealous dog or nosy roommate? Tomorrow knows. What? You told her? No, she has eyes. I didn't have to, but she is staying at her friend's tonight, so... Hey, coincidence, I was just gonna call you. Lopez needs Aaron's help on the surveillance. So I was thinking, won't you two ride together today? Great. Yeah, whatever you need to. This is gonna be awkward. Doesn't have to be. We've ridden together hundreds of times. Never as a couple. On the streets we won't be. Sir, are you telling me you're not gonna be thinking about tonight? Not at all. Thank you. Me neither. I can't tell you about the Elijah investigation. I know. I just need to make sure someone's on it. Wesley, a major drug kingpin just used the LAPD to take out two of his rifles. Quite a few someones are on it. He's not done with me. Poor Angel. I know, the lawsuits made that very clear. The lawsuits were a game. He doesn't care about her badge or my family's money. He wants to torture us and then quite possibly kill us. That does not change the fact that we cannot have this conversation. Are you hassling Harper about Elijah? No, I'm trusting the process. I said nothing. I was never here. Good. Remember the nanny staying late, date night? How could I forget? So, who was Savannah? His name's Serrano Rivers. I got a tip from the CIA that he's running guns. It's not enough for a warrant, but oh, maybe it'll screw up and we can catch it. It's weak, but it's all I got. Let's do it. All right. I could tell Gray that I got food poisoning. Just to get out of riding with me? I mean, I get the day off. We avoid all this weirdness. Wins all around. You're overthinking this. We leave our personal life at the door, just like always. And you can just shut it off. At 7.59, I'm your girlfriend. At 8.01, I'm, I'm your what, your subordinate? Yeah. Really? Hmm? What? My duty belt. My taser is on the wrong side. Normally, you would be all over me for something like this. You did that on purpose? Mm -hmm. You don't do Tim tests, I do Tim tests. Well, that's because this isn't a Tim test. It's a Lucy lesson. And admit it, you are taking it easy on me. We're not even on duty yet, and our dynamic has changed. Get the car. It's called a shop. Hmm? You wanted to see us? See, a prisoner's en route to St. Stephen Hospital. He's donating a kidney. And you want us to help stand guard? The guy must be pretty bad if the sheriffs can't handle it themselves. <sighs> it's Oscar Hutchinson. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, who's Oscar Hutchinson? He is the worst person in the world. I'm sorry, my, my brain broke a little. Did you say he's donating a kidney? Yes, his daughter Ashley had a kidney infection, which resulted in in-state renal disease. So our Oscar Hutchinson is donating a kidney just out of the kindness of his heart. I don't buy it either. He has some play here. Hospital does have lower security than the prison does. And all the drugs and sharp objects he could want. So round up whoever you need, hey. I'll let you go down for a second. All right, let's split up. Greg, Emma, you guys set up at the nurse's station. I want three of you on the north hallway, three of you on the south hallway. Hospital security already has the staircases covered. Thanks. All of this for one man? Yes, one man convicted of murder and multiple violent felonies. One man who has escaped a prison convoy, stabbed our friend Wesley, and escaped federal agents. Now, he is selfish, amoral, brutal, unethical, 
ruthless, unconscionable, and selfish. And the party said selfish? Yes, I did. Because he really, really is. Lambert, Juarez, anything we need to know? Nothing out of the ordinary for Oscar. He already hit on three nurses. And pick his handcuffs with a penny stole. Here you got a history. That's an understatement. Hi, John. Uh, what, no get well gift? I was hoping for chocolates. You can't eat them anyway. Too close to surgery. Well, there's teddy bears, balloons. You are aware of my heroic and unselfish act here, yes? The last thing you are is selfless. This is all a ploy. We're simply here to make sure you don't succeed. He only sees the bad in people. Whereas I, on the other hand, only see the good. And you are looking very good to me. You didn't tell me I had such a sexy rookie, John. Bailey must be jealous. Okay, maybe quit staring. You're freaking me out. She's freaking me out. You're gonna die. Nice. Nice try. I've been threatened by girls a lot tougher than you. And taller. And it's not a threat. Death is coming for him. All right. Okay, she's for real? When it comes to Officer Juarez, I've come to trust her instincts. If she says you're gonna die, I'd be worried. Well, hell. We're all gonna die, right? Some of us sooner than others. Okay, can we swap Harper back in? Because she's a lot less creepy. We're not here for your comfort, Oscar. We're here to arrest you when you try to escape. And endanger the life of my daughter. You misjudge me. I don't have any ulterior motives. I'm here as a father. He's extorting me. I had to put $50 in his prison commissary account before he'd even pick up the phone. He says after the surgery, I owe him $100 a week. I am so sorry about that. At least he's going through with the surgery. I thought I was going to be in dialysis until I died. I had just gotten out of prison, finally got my life together, then this hit. I heard you had your sentence reduced for good behavior. Seems like you've learned your lesson. Yeah. Don't be like Dad. Don't worry. As soon as this is over, I am done with shady dirtbag criminals. You brought flowers? <laughs> uh, this is Duke, my boyfriend. Hey. Get well, Mom. Mix up at the floors. Aaron, any movement at the back? All quiet. It must be nice being a criminal and just sleep in every morning. I can only imagine. We left Jack with Patrice last weekend, went up to Ohio. I still woke up at 5. Today I slept until 5.30. I am feeling pretty good. <laughs> Your burrito okay? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it might be coming down with something. I felt off the last couple of days. Mm. Um, I'm gonna get some antacids. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. You're kidding. 